How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing my client's first tattoo, and it is always such an honor to do somebody's first tattoo. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Sé que no soy perfecto, pero es mi manera de sanar. Déjate llevar más lento. All right, sir, have a seat, have a seat. How does it feel? Exciting. Exciting, huh? I forgot what it feels like. The feeling of getting your first tattoo. It's been so long. Where did you get your first tattoo done? Uh, I'm in my room by me. Yeah. Where at? <laughs> my thigh. You really? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at your skin, bro. It's so nice. <laughs> oh. I thought about it. I was like, have I ever had like a shaved arm? And I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> you never had a shaved arm before? Oh. Me, I don't have nothing to shave, so. <laughs> I was like, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see your, your arm naked. Yeah. So you said from, you're from Utah? Yeah, Southern Utah. Born Southern. and raised, yeah. Nice. And then you were like, I'm going to fly to Arizona. No, to I drove. Guys. I drove. You drove here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where? <laughs> I drove yesterday. I got here at like, I don't know, five, and I was just driving around, and I was like, dang, this is a college town. I saw everybody. <laughs> everybody had a backpack. I was like, sheesh. <laughs> And then we got two fingers right here to make sure that keep yep. it professional, nice and clean. It's like you're peeling off something from like a, you know, like a new iPhone yes. or something. Yes. Oh. Wow. Rawr. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, when it comes down to doing a sleeve, it's very important to keep in mind if you what route you want to take. Uh, either you do the the you cut it off on the wrist area, mm -hmm. and how you want to cut it off. Either you can cut it off by doing a solid line, or you can cut it off by doing a smooth fade out towards the hand. Either way, just remember that to ask the client first to see what he's comfortable with and what he wants to do with the sleeve. There's people that would want to take it all the way down close to the palm so they can connect it to the hand in the, in the future. I personally like to, when somebody's starting a sleeve, I like to start off with cutting it off with two fingers to keep it professional. They can wear a long sleeve and you won't be able to tell that they have a tattoo unless they roll it up. But in some cases, uh, my clients will just tell me, hey, you know what, I don't mind, I want my tattoo to show. And it's all up to the client. At the end of the day, however you decide to do it, plan in advance and think about the future, how you want to connect it in the future, how, what you want to do with this sleeve, what's the route. You know, but in this case, uh, I suggested to keep it nice and professional. He's a nurse, so I want to make sure that it looks nice. You know, when he rolls up his sleeve, he's going to be able to know, uh, he's going to be able to show his tattoo. But if he rolls down his sleeve, then you won't be able to tell. And he can wear a watch, whatever he wants to wear, you know. All right, I'm going to have you check out the placement. Make sure you like what you see. And yep. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a full color lion. Um, and my plan, uh, my approach is going to be working from the bottom to the top, making sure that I keep in mind, you know, when it comes down to the contrast, the highlights, where everything's at. The tones that I'm going to be using is a lot of browns, a lot of gold, beige colors. Uh, the reason why is because you would assume that a lion is yellow, but in technically, uh, if you really look at it, the, the colors are pretty much more like in the gold brown side. So I'm going to be using a lot of that, mixing back and forth with my gold, my browns, my kind of like reddish browns and mixing, mixing it all together. The part that I'm going to go in depth, is, uh, the part that I'm going to go in depth is the nose area. There is a lot of wrinkles, there's a lot of different tones and a lot of textures and everybody knows that I love textures. So I'm going to be using uh, a seven round liner or maybe a nine round liner, depending on how I see it. But as in right now, I'm going to start with my 9 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. Ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is your heart racing yet? Kind of like a... Minor heart palpitations, but other than that, we're good. We're hanging in there. <laughs> Take me through your thought process. How's that? Feels good. <laughs> It's more like a like a small like needle prick, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of goes away. Kind of goes away. 
Did you think it was going to be worse than this? Uh, I mean, you don't know what to expect when you're first time, so I yeah. mean, you have nothing to compare it to. That's true. But... Yeah. Did you ask your friends what it feels like to get your first tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, half of them were like, I cried the whole time. And, and I'm like, well, that doesn't give me any confidence <laughs> at all. Where is the support? I ain't trying to cry all, the whole time. <laughs> that I'm done with the bottom, I'm gonna start with the nose area, the, the, this area of the lion. And I'm gonna be doing the whiskers, the, the nose, and the top of the bridge of the nose. And first, what I'm gonna do is apply my solid black. And then after that, I'm gonna start using my browns and then, and then slowly transferring to my lightest uh, shade of brown and a little bit of yellow. So mixing everything together to create those tones. And there's many different ways of executing a lion or any color piece. Uh, and this is just the way I, that's gonna work out for me the best and to navigate nicely. So if you have a different method or a different approach, drop it down in the comments and let me know how you will approach a, a, a color, a full color lion piece. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. No, I'm doing good. <laughs> that highlight was, you know, a little bit rough, but yes. other than that, been good. So now I'm gonna start doing the bridge of the nose here. And my approach is I'm gonna use my seven round liner. Uh, I'm using the cartridges from higher level and you guys can purchase this uh, cartridges on their website, which I'm gonna drop the link on the description. Quick little outline to make sure that I don't lose this wrinkle of the nose. Going in here too. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm actually gonna use a 14 round liner. The seven round liner was a little too sharp for me right now. So that's why I ended up switching to my 14 round liner. There you go, much better. Little adjustments. This is my way of doing uh, color pieces and my approach what really works out for me. Uh, but there's so many ways that you can execute it. And I'm not necessarily packing it in. What I'm doing is uh, using the scribble technique and I just go all over the place so it can give me the, the texture that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna go back in with my darker with my darker uh, tone. Okay, now that I have that, my first layer, I'm gonna grab my seven round liner and I'm gonna use it to create the texture 
of the wrinkles here. Same thing using the scribble technique. Now I'm gonna slowly start doing uh, the scribble technique inside of here. Just I'm gonna build it up. I wanna make sure that I don't go too dark or too light. So by me separating these dots and the texture, it's gonna allow me to see my tones a lot better. And that way I'm not just packing in color and irritating the skin. This is gonna allow me to take my time, see everything, because I, I feel that the nose is the most important part of this piece because it has the most texture. It's basically what, what determines the, the feel of this tattoo, you know, the, the personality. All right, so I'm gonna continue doing the same thing across the whole nose. It is gonna take me a lot longer to execute all these little details, so I'm definitely gonna time lapse the way I'm gonna do the whole nose. But it is taking me a while, so I definitely wanna time lapse it so you guys can see the whole process.